for optimal wellness. Amanda? Are you looking to lead a healthier lifestyle? Well, co-founder and medical director of Take Shape for Life, co-founder of the Health Institute, and author of the new book, Stop, Challenge, Choose, Three Steps Toward Creating Optimal Health, is Dr. Wayne Anderson, and he is here to help. Good morning, Dr. Wayne. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Amanda. It's great to be here. I think all of us want optimal health, but it's very overwhelming with the amount of information that is actually out there that it can be very confusing. So a lot of us just throw our hands up and say, you know what, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. But I know that we should not be doing that and change starts today. Well, exactly. And it's about a decision. You know, last year I wrote a New York Times bestselling book called Discover Your Optimal Health, which was about awakening that desire. Because until a person awakens their desire, Amanda, their chances for long-term success aren't great. But I realize a lot of Americans just didn't have access or, or just haven't made a change yet. So the new ebook, Stop, Challenge, and Choose, is free. Uh, it's about literally stopping where you are right now, challenging. Are you making choices in how you move, how you sleep, how you handle stress, how you eat, uh, to move you forward to create health or are you just on automatic because 40% of the things we do on a day-to-day -day basis are automated they're habits of disease that we've created from long time ago uh, that lead us towards poor health so what we want to do is we want to stop bring to mindfulness uh, where you are and then give you a path so sleep is a key one you know uh, uh, 80 million Americans don't sleep well. We need at least seven hours of high quality sleep. We don't sleep well. Our health suffers as well as our weight. When you don't sleep well, you're much more likely to be overweight or obese. So it, it starts with sleeping well is one of the key areas. Okay, so how do we sleep cell? Now, I am a type of person that by 9 o'clock hits, I am like ready to go to bed. And then I lay down at 9 o'clock, but then I find that come 11, I'm still tossing and turning in bed. Yeah, that, and that's part of a routine. So the first thing for most people, you're at least laying down in bed, at, at uh, plus you probably get up really early in the morning, right? <laughs> I tend to, yes. Really early, yeah. So, so you have to count back seven hours. So, you know, for most people wake up at seven, uh, they have the luxury to wake up at seven. That would mean they have to be in bed at, new, at uh, midnight. And so that means that there's 24 hours in the day. You have 17 hours to get, take care of the kids, your work, all the key things, get the wash done. But that seven hours should be a relationship with your bed where you're asleep. So at 1130, a half an hour before you're going to go to sleep, you should have a routine where you turn off all the electronics, get the TV out of the bedroom, take a nice hot bath, Warm yourself up so when you get in bed, you start cooling down, which is the natural process uh, the body uses as the core temperature drops. We go into sleep uh, and, then, and then have a, what we did at Take Shape for Life. We created a far infrared quilt. So rather than heat yourself up, you stay thermally neutral. So you're at the right temperature and you don't get overheated. Uh, also, a sleep mask to eliminate. We created a sleep mask that's very comfortable to eliminate all the extra light. So you have to proactively decide that, that your sleep is important and then make sure that you're eliminating. The last thing you want to do is start reading uh, emails from work uh, late at night or exercising or drinking coffee after midnight. So, I mean, I'm sorry, afternoon. So all those things are key to help you create long-term healthy sleep for yourself. And doctor, what are some of the other key elements that we need besides good sleep? Well, we need to we need to eat healthy. Uh, you know, we need to have more of a plant-based diet. We need portion control. We're eating too many calories, energy-dense foods, way too much sugar and refined sugar, way too much fat. You know, America we consume about 34% fat as compared to in Japan 10% fat, and it it it's affecting us negatively. When you um, and they're all interrelated. They're all in balance. That's why uh, in the new book I talk about all the key areas and uh, what you eat makes you overweight. If you're overweight, you're less likely to sleep well. If you just don't sleep well, you're much likely to eat the unhealthy food. Uh, you're less likely to get off the couch and move. So all these things, we need to attack them in baby steps, not trying to go out and run a marathon. But what can we do in small little incremental steps in all the key areas together to now change the trajectory of our life and put us on a path towards creating optimal health? Excellent. Well, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for joining the Morning Blend this morning. And thank you so much for the wonderful tips. Great. Thank you, man. It's great being here. And don't go anywhere, the Morning Blend will be back before you know it.